You wanna make a Hytale server and start playing Hytale with your friends. We're gonna show you exactly how to do that step by step in this video, including getting your friends online. At the end of this video, your friends will be playing on your Hytale server. Now I do wanna mention on the front end, the server we're starting here uses your own internet connection, meaning you're gonna need a pretty good internet connection, and it's only meant for your friends, your family, people you trust, because anyone who gets the IP can DDoS you as well as hit your in and offline. On top of that, Hytale servers are pretty resource intensive. This game is in early access and isn't probably as optimized as it will be in the future. At the time I'm recording this, currently you probably need at least 16, if not even 32 gigs of RAM to run a server and play Hytale at the same time. We have seen crazy RAM usage when putting a lot of players on a Hytale server. Lastly, there's a whole auth system with starting these servers that you're probably not familiar with. We're gonna cover it, but I did wanna mention that as well because it is also pretty complicated. Now, with that being said, what if you don't wanna have to worry about any of that? You don't have to worry about who joins the server, the security of the server. You don't have to worry about hardware and all that stuff. You just wanna be able to have hardware that works. And on top of that, you don't have to worry about this auth system that Hytale servers have. Well, that's where our hosting provider, Simple Game Hosting, comes in. You can check it out at the first link in the description down below. And at Simple Game Hosting, you'll have your Hytale server up and running. There's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way and enhance your Hytale server journey. Plus, there's no authentication because using a verified host means that that's all done for you in the background. So none of that has to be done either. So check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown.xyz slash simple to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Hytale server for you and your friends. Nevertheless, if you don't want to get a server there and you want to host one on your own PC, how do we do it? First things first, you want to go here. It's the second link down below, and right now it's just a general basic kind of intro. We're working on this article in the background as I speak. It is launch day, but the thing you need for the video is this right here, this download Hytale. And when you click on this, it's going to download the Hytale server files right away, or the downloader for the server files right away. As you can see, it automatically starts downloading. Now, if you right click and copy this link address. I do want to show that this is in fact Hytale. So you can see this is Hytale.com. So when you click this, it's just going off to Hytale.com to download this. There's not really any good way on Hytale to get this. So this is why we did it this way. Nonetheless, we can then go ahead and minimize our browser. And in our downloads folder, we will have that Hytale downloader zip file. You want to go ahead and right click and extract all on this. And it's going to go ahead and extract this. When it's done extracting, we'll have this Hytale downloader. Go ahead and move that to your desktop, right? Like so. You don't have to. I just like managing servers on my desktop. Now, when we open this up, we've got a few files. We're going to be dealing with this Hytale downloader Windows file. Double click on it. It's going to open up just like an application and they're going to get an auth code. Now, for me, you can't see my auth code, but what you will see is a random code here as well as a URL up here at the top. And go ahead and take this URL, highlight it, and then copy it. You can't right click and copy. You have to control C to copy. And then you want to go to your browser and open up a new tab. Then up here at the top, go ahead and paste that auth code in, and it will go ahead and authorize the device. Now you will need to log into your Hytale account. I've already done that, so I've kind of skipped that step, but log into the Hytale account that you purchased your Hytale game license with, and then go ahead and click approve, and it will then go ahead, authorize, do all that stuff. And it's actually having me re-verify here. There we go, and as you can see, device authorized. Now if we go ahead and go back to our server, we'll see the download has started automatically because once it's authorized, you can start downloading. I would love to say that's the last time we'll have to do this auth verify thing. Sadly, it's not. We're we're gonna have to do it a few times. I just wanted to mention that here because it's kind of an annoying part of this process and it's taken care of for you at Simple Game Hosting. Now with that being said, once this download is complete, this will automatically close. It, I don't know if it caught it there on video, if I started talking quick enough or not, but it just closed the downloader. But we have this zip file here. What you then want to do is go ahead and right click and extract all on this zip file and click extract. Once that's done, finally, you'll have your Hytale server files. So let's just go ahead and let this extract. Then once it's completed, we will have this folder. This is where all of your Hytale server files are basically kept, all the licenses, everything that you kind of need here for your Hytale server, including that Hytale server jar, is in this folder. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this and rename it because this is our main server directory, so I'm going to name this the server directory here. You can name it whatever you want. Technically all your server and files and all that are in here, so we can go ahead and move this to the desktop because that's actually where our server's at and delete that Hytale downloader folder. Now, with the server directory, we'll rename that to Hytale server directory. We want to open it, right? This is where we can then right-click and create a new text document. 
open this up with notepad and then in this new text document you want to go to the description there's a lot of useful information in the description in addition to that link that i mentioned earlier to get the hightail server files you also have you know different commands and things like that one of them is the run.bat file that's what we're making here copy that run.bat file code and paste it this is what it looks like here so now we can go ahead and do file save as and we can save this as a run.bat file and save the save type as to all files. Click save and it will go ahead and save this and now we have this run.bat file. When you double click on this, your Hytel server is going to start. So we double click and it's going to go ahead and start downloading everything it needs. It's going to start, you'll see some yellow, you'll see some red, that's okay, that's normal when servers are first starting. But when you see the green here, Hytale server booted, it is now live. If we tried to join it right now though, it wouldn't work and that's because of that auth I was talking about. We need to authenticate the server again. So let's go ahead and do that and this command is linked down below but the command to do this is auth space login space device and there's no slash or anything like that. Just Type it and then hit enter. And then you're gonna get another authentication. It's exactly as the one we did earlier where you copy this and then paste it. So we wanna go ahead and copy the link here and then we will copy the auth code as well and get this authenticated. Now you've already logged in. So most likely you will be able to uh, already have this done and you'll be good to go. We can go ahead, paste this and continue. You'll need to approve. And like I said, you're already logged in. So it's, it's kind of already done. No worries there. It's going to auto log in here most likely. And there we go, device authorized. So that's now complete. And now we can go ahead and minimize. I do actually want to mention though, if you couldn't start your server for whatever reason, it's because you probably need Java 25. It's linked down below as well. Java 25 is what Hytale servers run on. So you can find it linked down below. Just go to Windows once you get to that link and then select X64 installer. Download this, run it like any other installer, install Java, then you'll be able to use that run.bat file to start your server. Now at this point, we can go ahead and get things rocking and rolling. We can see that we're authenticated. We are good to go. So every time your server starts, you will need to re-authenticate it, rerun that authentication process. So if we were to stop the server by typing stop, hitting enter, when we restarted it with that run.bat file, we would then need to re-authenticate the server. Don't worry about it at this point though, because your friends can't join. You can though. So let's see if we can join a Hytel server for the first time. So here we are, Hytel is live. We are good to go. The server is live in the background. If we go ahead and go to servers here, we can go ahead and add a server. For the connection address here, we're gonna go ahead and enter in localhost, all one word, exactly like that. For the name, we're gonna go ahead and name this local connection because this is a local connection to you. You're the only person that can join using this connection and then click add server. Now, from what I've seen, there's no indication a server's online. You just kind of double click to join it and we'll see it pop through in the background and go all crazy. And we'll also see it pop through up here and you know, kind of that it's loading in and everything. And we are now online. We are on a Hytale server. Now there's red in the console. That's gonna happen. That's okay. That's normal. Don't even worry about it. It happens when you're running these servers on early access builds. So don't worry about that, but we're gonna open this up. We are good to go. Hytale is now running, but you probably want your friends to join it. And that's okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, I'm not going to close out of, of Hytale or anything. I'm just going to quit to the main menu. You actually don't even have to stop your server for this to work. This will work with your server started. So don't worry about that either. However, what we do need to do is go ahead and take and open up the command prompt. So if we open up the CMD here, we will then be able to go and type IP config. And that was a little quick, by the way, to open up the CMD, you go to Windows, type in CMD, you'll have command prompt, open that up, and then in command prompt here, type IP config. Now there are two numbers we need from here. The first one is going to be our IPv4 address, and then the second one is going to be our default gateway. So I'm gonna notate these here. So our IPv4, and for me, we want this second one. There is technically one up here at the top. We want the ethernet one. If you have, for example, a Wi-Fi card or something like that, that's what you're gonna go for. And in my case, it's this one right here, the ethernet adapter, right? So I'm on Ethernet. If you're on Wi-Fi, that's what you would look for. So for the IPv4 address is 192.168.1.3. And then for the default gateway, we are looking at 192.168.1.1. Now you can see that's right here. So those are the numbers we want. If you have multiple numbers, go ahead and do the one that's just numbers, not the one that's numbers and letters. On top of that, your numbers are probably gonna be different from mine and that's why we're doing it this way. If we were gonna have the same numbers, I would go ahead and make sure to just give those to you. I wouldn't make you get them yourself. So now we wanna go ahead and copy this default gateway, then open up a brand new tab in our browser. Then up the top where you would type in simplegamehosting.com, thebreakdown.xyz, youtube.com, 
paste in that default gateway and hit enter. Now you're going to be faced with some sort of a login box. This is your router's username and password. Now, if you don't know it off the top of your head, we have a guide in the description on how to find it. Different methods. Start with method one, work your way all the way down through method five, and eventually you will be able to log in to your router, which I'm going to go ahead and do now. So here we are logged into my router. Now in your router, what you're looking for is port forwarding. But it might not be called that. It could be called NAT forwarding, NAT forwarding. It could be called NAT gaming, NAT gaming. It'd be called apps and gaming. It could also be called NAT forwarding. I've also seen it in security. It's probably in an advanced tab, an admin tab. It's also been in firewall tabs for me in the past. For me right now, it's in advanced, and then it's advanced again. And then finally, port forwarding slash port triggering. Then once you're here, you want to go ahead and add a new port forward. For me, this is by clicking add custom service. For you, it might be a big drop down box and you would just enter it on the first one. It could be a plus button, some sort of way where you're going to be able to add a new port forward. Now, once you've got that and got this open, you can name this Hightail Server. Now, for you, it could say ID. This is just what it is, so you know why the forward's there. Now, for protocol, you want to select UDP. Hightail only requires UDP. It can actually have some issues if you select both. So you want to make sure that UDP is all that's selected here. For port range, first port, second port, starting port, ending port, inside port, outside port, anything involving the word port, you want to go ahead and enter in 5520. So we have external port, we're going to enter in 5520. Internal port, wow, there's that word port, 5520. Then for your internal IP address, if you have that and it's get wanting an IP address, this is going to be your IPv4 address we found earlier, which in my case, 192.168.1.3. Now you may have a drop down box of devices that you can select from. I actually have that here as well. And I can select my computer in this list as well. But basically it's going to be your computer in the drop down or the IP address, the IPv4 that we found earlier. At this point, you can click apply, you can click save, you're good to go. You have now port forwarded. Now with that being said, what if you want your friends to join after that? Well, you need to get your public IP. We have it linked down below. And you can only see 185 for me because you don't want to give this out to anybody and everybody. You just want to give out, if anything, the last three digits. You don't even really want to give that out, but I want to make sure that you all know that this is in fact working here. Now with that being said, you can see some of the information someone can give with your IP. Your city, your region, your latitude and longitude coordinates, and none of this is a worry at Simple Game Hosting, so it's another reason to use a host. I'm going to go ahead and click to copy your IP though, and then we can go ahead and minimize our browser. Now we can actually go back to Hightail. Our server is still live. We can go back to Hightail here, and what we want to do is go to servers, and now we can add a new server. This is going to be our public IP, and this is how your friends are going to join. They're going to join using your public IP. So we'll paste the public IP in there. And again, you can only see 185 at the end. And then for the name, we'll name this again, public IP. So connection address on top is your public IP. Under that is the name and add server. Now, all we've got to do is double click that public IP and we will join right on in. We can see it happening in the background there. And you are now on your Hightail server. There is a million things that can and will go wrong when you're starting a Hightail server for the first time. Authentication is usually where you get stuck. And luckily, that's not a worry at Simple Game Hosting. But with that being said, I wanted to mention that's a common issue. Now, there is a link in the description down below to Hightail's server manual. There's common issues they've identified that are listed there, but subscribe to the channel because we're going to be covering common issues as they pop up as well. For example, Authentication has its own video on the way. Enjoy this new game. It looks really, really cool. I'm excited to play it. Um, I'm going to be making so many, con so many videos, so much content for you all, and we will see you in the next one. I am out. Peace.